ride? You can. <laughs> Why not? I just let random people in the car. Yeah, there we go. Logan Henderson. How are you? How's it going, man? Good to see you. Good to see you. You've been busy. I've been busy. I've been it's, very it's been busy. a very busy week. You got the new album. You got the uh, the new single, Bite My Tongue. That's right. And of course, you're uh, going on tour too. So yeah, it's I appreciate of you going dates. for a random drive around OKC with me. Hey, I don't mind, man. A good drive is something that kind of helps me clear my head. Something that I did since I was really young and always kind of um, gets my juices flowing whenever I'm riding. Actually. So first thing I noticed when you got in the car is you have this uh, this tattoo and uh, you got it at South by Southwest, I got, right? Yeah, I got this one at South by. Okay. And then I got this one in London. Okay, and and so what's the story behind the the one in your hand? Cause that looks that looks awesome. Yeah, it's pretty intricate. Um, I got was an artist that I really liked who did, you know, this type of style of tattoo, and, you know, I'll save you from each each line and what what it means because it kind of goes. So it's intricate. Yeah, it's pretty intricate. Um, but it has a few different things, a few different meanings. But at that at that time in my life, it was kind of like, uh, renewal of kind of like heart, mind, and soul, and um, just kind of a. A statement for me for growth and kind of the next chapter of my life. And the the one on the side of your head, I know we were uh, talking about this at one point. Uh, the one on the side of your head, totally random, wasn't a planned tattoo, right? Well, it wasn't planned. Yeah, it wasn't completely random, but it, it definitely was not planned for South by. But whenever I got to South by, I thought it would be a cool souvenir to kind of take with me, and um, yeah, it's a symbol of understanding for me. And it that had to have hurt. Uh, you know what? I was focused on not moving because you don't want one of those like zzz, like you mess up on you know on your head. So uh, I, it didn't hurt too bad. I have a high pain, pain tolerance, and uh, yeah, it turned out well. So uh, obviously, you are now a solo artist. So I, I want to talk about you know a lot of people know you from Big Time Rush, the TV show, right? The group. Yeah. You guys had a lot of success together. Um, what's it been like transitioning from? A group is big time rush to now you're a solo artist I mean it's it's been a long time coming for me I, we did so many so many cool things as a group and you know even moving out to LA for the first time and, and, and getting considered for the group and, and kind of getting into it it was never something I saw in my vision where I was like oh absolutely boy man I want to do that <laughs> it just was you know, I tell people sometimes the river is wild and you kind of have to go with the flow and see where life takes you. And that was, that was uh, you know, a journey that I was put on that, you know, I'll forever be grateful for. Uh, and I was always writing before that show and then I continued to write during the show and in the group and then, you know, after. And it took me a long time to, after a show that big, you know, you're moving, you're going, and it's kind of hard to settle down afterwards. So for me, it was important to kind of get back to my roots musically and to kind of figure out the person I wanted to be and the artist I wanted to be and, and to grow and to learn and to really hone in on music that I thought you know was really going to be special and something worth putting out. I'm and, assuming being an artist was what you've always wanted to do. Acting, did acting just, did the show just, how did how did that come about? Were, were you an artist first and and then you guys got the show or how did that whole thing come? Because you, you went from you know being Logan Henderson to part of Big Time Rush and you were right. balancing acting and singing at the same time and I can't imagine one of them you know your life right now has got to be busy I can't imagine right. trying to do both of those at the same exact time yeah it was interesting uh, I mean I feel I was always an artist whether anybody knew or not I was, I was still you know creating and, and and doing my own thing but yeah it was it was a lot to do to do both and to have the acting and then also the music I, it really kind of helped shaped uh help shape me and kind of changed my whole chemical makeup of, of kind of who I am and what I wanted to do. Are you still dabbling in acting right now at all? I am, I am, but it's, it's really more, it's, it's not actively pursuing anything at the moment just because, okay. I mean, I'm on the road for this project and, and the music has really taken up all my time. And, um, for me, I think if you really want to go for something, you have to kind of go full force. And so you still enjoy it. Absolutely. You still have still love in it. it. And whenever there's time away from music and, and after I've kind of put out enough music and, and I'm happy with you know touring and you know there's still so many people to see that I haven't seen in so many years so I really I owe them you know I owe them to kind of go out and, and see them and really and really perform and after after I get a little break from that I mean acting is that'll always be there 
By the way, thank you for not calling me out on using the word dabbling. Like, I don't think anyone uses that word anymore at all. That was the most uncool word I could have used I to don't describe dabble. that. I don't dabble. Yeah, dabble. So, <laughs> I, I want to Google it now and see, but it, it, it might not even be a word. I don't know. That's all right, man. So, uh, your tweets are one of the, the cool things. You know, you obviously you tweet to your fans, talk about your music and stuff, but you put these just quotes and some are inspirational some are just random quotes and there's one that i saw that I, that i wanted to ask you about uh, it says choose to love choose to love yourself choose to love others choose to accept love from others choose love um what was the obviously the inspiration behind posting that is it from something um that is just something that i wrote uh I, i'm sure there's tons of things that you know talk about it i think it i think just it's always a good reminder not always what I tweet is going to be something good. A lot of it is completely stupid. See, there's, but, a, there's a song idea there now. Yeah, exactly. But, so, you know, it's I a think, great message. Yeah, I think that's a great message. It's something that I need to constantly remind myself, and I think people um, need to remind themselves as well. That's kind of like what makes the world go round, right? Is love and connection. Exactly. We, we need more, you know, there, there needs to be a lot more, you know, you know, I know Ellen's, her TV show, she's always talking about love a lot on her show. Um, there's a group BTS that uh, they have, you know, Love Yourself yeah. is uh, one of their projects, and uh, they're always, you know, saying the same exact thing. So to see, you know, a lot of artists kind of in, and celebrities just kind of, uh, you know, spread positivity instead of negativity, I think it's a it's a good thing. Absolutely. In your spare time, when it, when you have nothing work related to do, um, which by the way, you have the best job ever to entertain and, and do that. But on your day off, what's uh, what's Logan doing? Uh, <laughs> this morning I would have gotten up a little bit earlier you know I like to in each new city I like to kind of figure out what's going on or find a good breakfast spot um, get some good coffee but I played top golf last night and had a couple drinks too many <laughs> and so I woke up late this morning but a typical day if I'm back in LA or I'm back in Vegas because I, I split my time between those two uh, I love hiking so I usually try to get my day started with like a good hike and kind of just being outdoors that's really where I like takes all my anxiety away, it takes any type of, you know, feeling of um, stuffiness, really. So I, I love being outside, I love being outdoors. Uh, and then the studio is a, a place that's kind of like safe for me, and I usually go in um, pretty early. I know a lot of people work late, but for me, I love being in the studio um, during the day and, and kind of getting my work started. And other than that, it's been a lot of traveling. So whenever I'm on tour, we try to find good spots everywhere me and the band we'll try to find a, a cool spot to hang out or try something new well you like find top some... golf i had not tried before so that was a lot of fun i am too awful good. at golf yeah um, same here. <laughs> but top golf is just it's fun yeah it's like fun. it makes it makes you sucking not so bad Absolutely. like the ex you walk away from it going that was awful but man it was fun well now i want to get better i want to be absolutely able to go out on like a 18 hole and be able to like actually perform so we'll see i'm gonna get better at it I'm the person that you goes along. You and me will get better, okay? Yeah, I'm the person that goes along, and, and I don't know about you, but if you ever go with people that actually can play, and you got and you go try to do, like, 18 holes, and you're just kind of, like, barely hitting the ball, missing it half the time. Absolutely. And, you know, throwing it into water and everywhere, and they're just kind of, like, they're almost kind of like, come on, <laughs> you know? And they, Loser! I, I just, yeah. <laughs> I just... I give up and I just I I just pick up the ball and I just catch up to where they're at right. because I've got like you know probably two groups of people behind me that are now waiting to use you know yeah the, I'm, the I'm same. less professional course more putt putt course but we'll get there man. putt putt I, I've got that like yeah, okay good I, I'm good at putt putt what I've noticed is people that play golf suck at putt putt we excel at putt putt yeah um, throw some obstacles in the way and Absolutely. like a fan or something I'm good yeah ice cold beer things are all right. <laughs> that's taking putt putt to a whole new level. I have yeah. not tried that. It's a, that's great. a great business model. That's, that's the only way. If this music thing doesn't work out. You can you can open up a uh, alcoholic putt putt. Place. Hey, that's me. So, I, I do there it. you go. Favorite show to binge watch? You know what? Sometimes it's hard for me to go to sleep, and I don't I don't like get very good sleep at night. So I usually put on The Office. That's a go to. It's pretty easy. One. But as far as new stuff goes, Westworld is is big for me I don't know that one. Oh, it's it's amazing it's really in-depth intricate you have to take like your own space and time uh, I love Black Mirror if I'm watching something that I can just laugh to and not think about Rick and Morty is great I, I'm a huge binge watcher so so you're binge watching you're on the couch 
you're snacking on something what is it are you are you one of those people that's eating really really healthy or do you have every possible junk food in front of oh, you oh no totally healthy <laughs> no, pizza pizza is a go-to. I love pizza. Uh, jalapeno kettle chips in and around my face. Uh, those are great. I, you know what? I'm, I'm a huge junk eater. I, I like to work out. I like to be healthy. But, you know, I, I can easily take a whole pizza down by myself. So, my man. My yeah. man. Right there. There yeah. we go. When you can do a pizza. See, when now when you come back to Oklahoma City, we have to go to, uh, to Papa Angelo's. Okay. Like, legit New York style pizza it's it's amazing stuff and let me just say if it's if it's really getting down to some pizza I don't dabble okay no. <laughs> I go all in I see what you did there <laughs> he brought it back um, <laughs> there's the police let's uh, get going dream tour you're you're headlining okay duh um, right right two acts that are gonna be with you and they don't have to be typical support acts they can be your dream Opening acts. You can pick two. Oh man, you know I've been listening to a little bit of FK Twigs. I think she's just like pretty phenomenal. She's, like such a cool artist. I don't okay. know if you listen to her. A whole I lot. don't. Yeah, she's she's um I don't know. She just has a really cool vibe about her. So I have really to, like her. I'm gonna have to look her up. I don't know. There's some just strong female artists that I really would love to have on tour. Um, Kehlani is great. I think she's amazing. Jean Aiko is is amazing. You know, I saw Miguel recently, and that guy just puts on a hell of a show. Any one of those would be would be awesome. All your followers keep asking me to ask you about singing Camila, and you're a Camila fan. Uh, is they, there a story there? No, I, well, there's not a story. I, okay. I usually get asked what's like your go-to shower song, and you know. <laughs> Are you singing Havana in the shower? <laughs> the, she. Uh, Real Friends is, is, was, I heard that song and immediately fell in love and I think she's incredible so that maybe that leads me to my next collab that would be a great collab to have she's um, yeah she's a superstar I knocked it out uh, alright if you weren't an artist and you had to pick any job doesn't necessarily mean you have to have the talent to do the job just what would your what would your dream job be if you were, if you weren't an artist and acting doesn't count because you do that too Okay, uh, you know what I've done? I, I got my my sailing license, so I, I did that a couple years back, and I just thought to captain like a sailboat and be able to like go check out different parts of the world by boat. I think would be really cool. I'm not sure if I can find a real job with that, but if I can char <laughs> like charter a boat and have people come and, and really there show them around the world and, and show them places they've never been to, I think that would be a pretty cool job. I did get some I'm Captain, sure Captain Jack Sparrow somewhere. and be able to just nice. kind of like go all over the place. That would be a pretty cool job for me. What about you? What would you be doing? Man, you know, it's 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 dream job. Yeah, did Man. you have one when you were young, growing up? Like you know, when I was yeah. when I was a kid, you I, already have a, a badass job. So I mean, it's gonna. I feel like yeah, we're we're both we're both really lucky. Like we're driving around in a car right now as work. Absolutely. Um, that, that's that's our job for today. Hey, it's fun. Um, I enjoy it. You know, as a kid, I, I dreamed of being a hey, uh, um, a few different things. I remember I remember growing up wanting to be a bus driver. Okay. Like a city bus driver. All right. Like I thought that would just be cool. Yeah. Um, and then I wanted to be a police officer, which which I did for for a short time. I didn't know um, that. While I was in cool. radio. So I've, I've done that. Um, I'd, I'd totally do it again if I wasn't in radio. But if, because I did that one, and if you can't pick acting, I can't pick that one. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I like to work with, with animals. Like, uh, like yes. I love gorillas, chimpanzees. Yes, my dude. I want to be the person that gets to go behind the cage and touch them. I love that, man. Um, Animal, so I think animals that, are so, like my most favorite. So like, uh, you know, I, I'd want to do that. Cool. That's um, really great. You know, like, uh, what was it? What's what's that woman's name? Ah, uh, uh, everyone's gonna blow up the comments on this now because I don't know it. But it's like Jane. It's not. I want to say Lynch, but I know it's not Lynch because that's the actress. That is an actress. Yes. Which is she's hilarious. It's, she is. Uh, and I don't know not what you're talking about. Fond. I can't remember. And it's not Fonda either. Jane that, Fonda. That's almost like an act. That's like a model or something, or I don't know. I don't know who you're talking about, but the animal thing I totally get, man. That Whoever that person fun. is that has a documentary, I want to be like her. She just lived with, like, gorillas in, like... Right. 
I, there's that guy also who works with like tigers and all that. And just, yes. he, he like is the tiger whisperer, and so he has tons of lions and all that stuff. So I think that I think that would be that would be cool. Very cool, um, man. That's a good one. Um, so you know we're ta we're talking about junk food. You only can eat one food for the rest of your life. This is another one of the fan questions, by the way. You can okay. only eat one food for the rest of your life. What is it gonna be? I grew up in Texas, so barbecue is the first thing that comes to my mind. And you so know, you know, me and my dad food. grill out a lot, so I feel like it's definitely a bonding moment for me and my family to be around the kitchen and, and cook food with each other. Mm. Barbecue. What kind? What kind? What kind? Are you a uh, brisket? Pork? Brisket, pork? chicken, uh, fish is good too. I mean, there, there's really that, yeah. not a whole lot of food I haven't all of the I've above met that I haven't liked yet. All right, Logan Henderson. Awesome, man. Thank you for riding along. Thank you, man. Had I'm a glad blast. we didn't get into an accident. We didn't get arrested. We didn't get it pulled over. For now. For we now. were good. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man.